welcome to clickmyproject.com yeah now we let us discuss about the graph theory in computer application yeah now we let us discuss about the abstract of the process so first of all the graph theory is the study of graphs which are mathematical structure used to model pairwise relation between objects so a graph in this context is may be uh, made up of uh, vertices nodes or points which are connected by edges arcs or lines so a graph may be undirected meaning that is the, there is a no distinction between the two vertices associated with edge or its edge may be directed from one vertex to the another so the graph is for more detailed definitions and for other variation in the types of graphs that are commonly considered so graphs are one of the prime objects of study in the district mathematics so the shortest path problem is the problem to finding the path between two vertices so in graphs such that the sum of the weights of its uh, edges is minimized so the problem of finding the shortest path between two intersections on a road map that is uh, may be calculated model by the special case of shortest path the problems in the graph so in this proposed work we have to spare as graph using nodes and weights the graph has been created so it is shown uh, that any tree of two connected graph g is the deepest search that is a dfs tree of one that's two uh, isomorphic graphics so if and only if uh, g is a serial parallel graph where two graphs are said to be a two isomorphic if they have that same set of edges as well as the same set of circuits so only one separable graphs are considered so a basic theorem on serial parallel graphs is given and the main theorem or discuss So the shortest path problem based on the data structure has been one of the hot search results uh, in the topic of graph. So as the basic theory of solving the problem, uh, digestive algorithm has been widely used in engineering calculation. So aiming the short and coming of traditional digestive algorithm. So this process has been proposed optimization method, which has mainly improved the node selection of the shortest path and the data storage structure and organization. So finally, find the graph as Euler path or not. So and also isomorphism of two graphs of the process. yeah now we let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process so these are the overall flow diagram first of all uh, creating a diagram using nodes so diagram is a uh, one type of uh, uh, i mean other is a inbuilt function so take a diagram using the nodes and then also uh, uh, two types of process is simultaneously running so in the uh, two types of process simultaneously running and finally uh, the find two graphs as isomorphic or not so in the find define the edges whatever may be in the graph it should be calculating the edge sum of arcs lines or like that so first of all to define the edges what are the process so node 1 to node 3 or like that so that is a define edges and then depth first search so first of all first search in the depth how many calculation in the depth so that is one big search and then find the euler path already you know that uh, euler path is one type of a uh, uh, distance based calculation so calculate the uh, find the euler path and then calculate the shortest path between the uh, particular nodes uh, if uh, if i have a uh, four nodes uh, which path only easily to identify the process so that is a calculating the shortest path by using the uh, digit stack algorithm of the process so whatever it may be so whatever the uh, nodes of the process the uh, rising it should be calculating the values so all the values which should be calculated by using the digit stack algorithm and then uh, it may be it may be the shortest or uh, I like that. So the same process is simultaneously to the another graph. So create a diagram using nodes, the same process, and then defining the edges of the particular nodes, and then depth for such. First of all, we searching the first depth, and then finding the Euler path. So this is the Euler path. Uh, like that, uh, what, how many the shortest path to be found? So whatever it may be, the calculation will be fine uh, by using the register calculator. Mostly uh, using the shortest path calculation only calculating the register calculator only. So by using that algorithm, easily to find the uh, calculating the shortest path. when which node is the destination so starting with the source node and then destination node which path is easily and shortest path to achieving the target of the process so finding uh, finally the isomorphic so comparing to this graph the uh, graphs are seen that is isomorphic uh, already the, the, there are different graphs means that is a non isomorphic one so these are the overall process of the particular program yeah now we let us discuss about the running procedure for the process so click the main file and then uh, run so it has a time to run the process so and then run so here we using the graph based algorithm so the nodes how many edges just so biograph object with six nodes and 11 edges so i will created the six nodes okay of the process and then i will uh, find out the 11 edges of the process so first of all already i told that to initialize the nodes so here i will selecting the six nodes and the edges it should be 11 
so i will uh, select the edge of the process it should be 11 so this is the process and then the simulation graph it should be simultaneous learning yeah in this figure there are six nodes so n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 and n6 so these are the six type of nodes so the uh, edge will be calculated so those are all the edges so n1 to n5 and then uh, like n1 to n6 like that so n2 to n5 so these are the biograph so the same will function of the process so weighted so these are the weighted values for the particular process so on this next figure so in this figure n1 so n1 is a source node and n2 n6 or n3 is a destination node like that so all the values should must be calculated for the biograph we are two so this is a graph one and this is two and then the next figure so find the euler path so all the figures it should be blue color so indicating the process how much the process should be run so in another figure so i will select at the shortest path between the n1 to n5 n4 and n6 so this is the shortest path between the n1 to n6 of the process so whatever it may be calculating weight must be uh, low so comparing to the other sides of path so the next figure this is a uh, so these are the one type of one view will be discussed so in the next figure the same biograph so it should be discussed on uh, this figure also a character in uh, six nodes and then the same process will be calculated so in the next figure same the same process so n1 is a source node and n5 is a destination node compared to this uh, the euler uh, find the euler path between the path so shortest path so shortest path i will calculate it like n1 n3 n5 and n6 of the process so and then finally calculate it so n1 n1 to n5 so n1 n3 n5 so this is the shortest path between the process so comparing this uh, graph i mean uh, the graph number so i will select a graph number 4 and 8 so comparing both graph so here the lowest number is i mean calculator so the lowest path is so both graph is non uh, isosomic of the process so calculating the two graphs are not isosomic so these are the overall running procedure for the process Thank you for listening this video.